Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP Envy. This is gonna be the 16AC0013 series computer. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your solid state drive and your RAM. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from the charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. Now in this computer, you only have four screws. You have this one here near the top left of my screen, this one near the top right, and these two below near the center. So those are the only four screws you have. After that, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case less than a metal one will. And we're gonna go across the seam all the way around to pry this bottom panel off of the rest of your computer. It's usually best to start up here near one of your corners. Uh, don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the outside edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note for computers, whenever I'm working on a laptop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your repair projects, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have a list of many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Now before I do anything inside a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So I'll show you how to access your battery first. So here's your battery down bottom. I'll explain how to unplug it and how to unscrew it. So to unplug the battery, it plugs in right here. You see the wires here, the black plug and the white port. As with any cables or wires in a computer, we avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible because we can damage them and even pull them right out of the plug sometimes. So instead of pulling on the wires or just yanking on the battery, try to use your fingernails or a pry tool to jimmy this black plug out of that port first. Uh, that's a safer way to unplug it. And then to unscrew the battery, there are five screws next to these little white triangles or arrows, M2X3.5L, those are the screws. And you have one in each of the bottom corners, one here near the top right corner, one near the top left corner, and one in, in the center near the plug. That's how you would get that battery out. Now here's your solid state drive. You have a single M.2 port right here. And as you can see, there's a metal guard on top of it. So you would remove this screw right here on the left of that plate, and this metal guard will come off. It'll also take a thermal pad up with it that's on the underside of this uh, to facilitate heat transfer out of your solid state drive. After that, there's a screw down here in the middle, that's how you would release a solid state drive and you would pull it out of its port right there. Now, as mentioned before, this is an M.2 port PCIe. Uh, most of you will have a 512 gigabyte drive in here stock. The uh, part number for HP for that drive is N45476-005. Uh, and this takes Gen 4 solid state drive. So I will have all that information below in the description if you're looking for your own replacement, but I will also have a link below. It'll be a parts list for all the upgrade and replacement parts for this model computer. I will try to have some upgrade options in there as well. So I'll try to put a 500 gigabyte drive in there if you're just looking to replace this. I'll have a terabyte drive and a two terabyte drive that are compatible with this port if you're looking to upgrade. And I guess the last thing to shout out about this type of repair on a computer is if you are replacing or upgrading your drive, you most likely will need to install an operating system onto that drive afterwards. I will have two more links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto an HP computer, and one will show you how to install Windows 11 onto an HP computer. As far as the RAM, uh, many of you will have guessed it. You can't see any RAM here. That's because the RAM that this computer has is integrated into the motherboard. It cannot be easily replaced or removed. So unfortunately, you can upgrade your storage 
uh, your solid state drive in this computer, but you cannot necessarily upgrade your memory or your RAM. You would have to find an actual motherboard with a higher RAM value than the one you have. So that's the video. This is how you open the computer up, gain access inside, access your storage and your memory. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.